Okay, Scales, 311 back in Skyrim. Oh, hey, we are in White Run here. And I want to see how much money. I got 694 in gold. Um, and we did not level yet. These people just talk about it. It's kind of a little background story. Battleborns like the Imperials. And the Grey Mains like the. Um, Rebels, so they don't like each other, which comes into effect for some of the. Uh, um, we can make um, if you have ore, which we had a bit of iron ore, you can come here and make ingots out of it. So each one, two ores can make one silver ingot, and each one different based on what you want. Uh, we can come here and really quickly level if you wanted to with blacksmith. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymanes got that uh, one. Let's see. Man Steel is a legend. Looking to protect yourself? Or see if we got something to sell, because I'd like to go train some more. Um, I don't know if we got anything really that I want to sell, though. I'd like to just disenchant this uh, axe. The banded shield we don't need. And iron helmet we don't need. Gold ingot. Uh, I don't really need either. I that I do. I've but got if you ask her about if she works the forge, she gives you a quest a I made to it give to the Jarl. Ball grew the, the sword. It's a surprise. So you gotta give it to her father, who lives up, who works up there. Thanks. And that's just—it's a—it's a miscellaneous quest. It's nothing big. Uh, okay. Um, do we have? What do we have? She only buys—you know—they each person only buys certain things. She'll only buy weapons and armor. Um. For you, uh, like she won't buy this necklace. Okay, so we're gonna sell a little bit, then I'm gonna try to go back out there and get my sneak skill up a little bit more. I'd like really like to get it to forty as quickly as I can because I would like to um get that one the bow um skill. So in here is uh archery. Um skill book right there. And this guy basically sells bows, arrows, type of stuff, leather armor, type of stuff. So he's actually pretty good for a like a hunter, thief type of character. This is going to be our house eventually once we make enough money. And uh, in here is the general store guy. He is. the guy who will buy everything from you. There's a skill book right here though. Which is for speech. Everybody in here. Give a holler if and you have any questions. Everything's some may call so. this junk. Me, I call them treasures. So he will buy that necklace from us, I think. No, we're not going to use these scrolls. Let's sell these. I'd rather use that money towards, um, actually leveling up. Oh, no, that necklace is stolen, so he won't buy that anyway. Damn it, I forgot about that. So that's the problem with stolen items. They won't buy them. Iron ingots. That goes 14. It's gold ingot. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really. Well, let's go um, try to maybe put our sneak up a couple more points at least, so we get closer to it. Um, let's go in here real quick though. This is the alchemist, and there is a alchemy skill book in here, and a table that we can actually do some alchemy at if we wanted to. She sells you right there. But if you run in here real quick, that's the book. So that puts your alchemy up a point. 
And uh, I'm not going to really mess with alchemy right now. I don't know if I'm going to put any points in alchemy, actually. With all the points I, I plan on using, that's counting smithing and uh, enchanting, which is really good to get your uh, weapons and armor powered up. I think we're already looking at level like 50 or 51 to get all of those. That's not counting putting other points in things, which, you know, you can get to level 81, I think. I don't know if we're going to get that far in this. But, you know, after we get pretty much all the main things out of the way, maybe I'll do a little bit of alchemy. Um, maybe, you know, something like that. Another skill that's useful for this type of character would be, like, illusion, if you wanted to go that route. Um, there's some decent illusion magic. Um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to go straight more of a combat type and not do magic really that much, except for restoration when needed and stuff like that. But like illusion, like I said, is a is a one that fits this kind of kind of character. Um, you can easily go that route, and it's very viable. Now where are the Khajiit? See, I think, I think they move around or some shit. Yeah, they do move around. Those freaking Khajiit. I have no idea where they're at. Damn it! I wanted to try to raise my sneak a little bit more. Ah, uh, so they're not always out here. God, they up and went. You know, maybe if I go to like nighttime or something, they're out here. I really don't know how it works. Let's go to like what is that? Six at p.m. or something. Let's see, maybe if they move back, they'll come back here at that time. Or if they're gone for good until they stroll back into town. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that works. Oh, that blows. I really want to put my sneak up again. Let's go, uh, one more. Sorry, I'm going to go one more till the morning. I'd rather it be morning in the town anyway. Um, or daytime in the town than nighttime. But maybe if we wait a day or something almost, or at least till the next day, maybe they'll come back. Or not. Alright, I guess they are travelers completely, huh? Unless I'm in the wrong spot. No, that's where they were. Damn. Uh, who's the other sneak guys? Uh, nobody in this area. Alright, we'll just have to have our sneak go up naturally, which is fine. I would like to level a little bit of something though, while we still have points left to level this. Um, I'd like to put a skill up. We can do like one handed with uh, somebody from the. Uh, in the town. Archery were actually pretty good right now, but we can actually do that as well. Sneak was the one I really wanted to do. Um, we can do alchemy, but I'm uh, gonna mess with that too much. Okay, so anyway, sorry about that. I'm kind of wasting time there, but I thought uh, I can get my sneak up a little bit more. Alright, so we got all these levels. This lady gives us a side quest. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Oh, it took years, but I earned my way to the top. Alright, so there's a side quest that opens up. Um, I actually screwed up, now that I think about it, in River Run, you want to talk to all the, um, damn it, you want to talk to all the, uh, innkeepers, because you can get miss side quests, miscellaneous quests Welcome. from them. I didn't talk I to the one in White Run. <laughs> or in Riverwood. So we'll talk to her. If it's work you, you can need, ask for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. So this gets you a miscellaneous quest. Kill the bandit leader of Eltham Keep. Then we have uh, rumors. 
Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. That is one that we'll, we would have gotten for the Riverwood guy. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. The Companions? In Jorvaskut? They're recruiting new members, from what I hear. And then you can ask about magic, magic and she'll tell you about the, the College of Winterhold. Elves. And, of course, uh, there is Farangar. He and then she'll tell you that, too. Wizard, but at least he's a Nord. That Farangar, um... Need anything else? Just let me know. ...can train you if you want. Now, this girl, you can actually have a fist fight with her. And then if you beat her, you win 100 gold, and then, uh... You can actually get her as a companion, but you know, I was thinking I might just keep Farangar for a while because since I'm kind of going range, the I mean, she's melee. I just don't want her to run up and maybe affect my sneak. I don't know if she would, but to be honest, I'm not really sure, so I don't want to chance it. It would be nice to have a. Yeah, it would kind of be nice to have her, though, in a way, because she can tank for me. But I think we're going to be pretty good. I, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this girl. You can do a side quest, a miscellaneous quest for her too. She wants to be a merchant, and she wants a. Uh, the caravan leaders. You do that. If you find one, I she wants a mammoth tusk. So you bring her one. You complete that miscellaneous quest, and I think she'll train you a little bit in um, speech. Maybe she said she'll help you with training. I know There's another miscellaneous quest here. This guy's pissing his wife it. off. Are you What's new, right? My doesn't like his father's his sword is missing, with so he needs help. So we tell him we'll help him. Bandits nearby. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, and so we would go to Red Orange Retreat to find it. Now this guy's the guy who can train you one-handed weapons. I, I think I'm going to try to go that route. I can do a couple, maybe two levels of it. Yeah, but I can't, you know, obviously get that money back like I could with Fade and all, because, um, well, because he's not a, he's not a, uh, companion to me. Okay, so we go in the Temple of Kinnereth here, and we are able to get a quest. We can actually get a little, uh, blessing here, too. Now, if you have any disease on you, it'll show up under your active effects. And we actually do. We have Ataxia, which reduces our locks and pickpocket by 25%. I think we get that from the, uh, those, like, rat things that were in the temple, Bleak Falls. We have the Thief Stone, which we took earlier. We got 20% Thief Stealth Skills. And we actually have Claws. We can do decent damage with our Claws and not Swords. So... I'm going to end up using my swords. So anyway, since we have that that disease, we can use this, and that cures us of the disease. So we come back over here, and now we don't have it. We actually have a fortified stamina for eight hours because of this thing. So, And now there's a skill book in here, uh, wherever the bookcase is. Where the hell is it at? It's kind of hidden. It's in the corner here. It's called Winter Wither Shins. There it is. So that get a skill there, restoration, and then we talk to the Danica so girl. Stand it. She's not even in here. Alright, sometimes she's outside, so I'm guessing maybe she's outside. Sitting on the bench. And the, um, yeah, there she is. This is about the tree the innkeeper told us about. It's a shame, isn't it? This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Run. Disciples of Kinareth could sense something holy in it, and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. So that's what's to special about it. She tells you the that there's a hidden the grove. The it's the it's oldest the thing oldest in Skyrim. Living. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting and, of that uh, tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. So ask her to revive it. I thought about that. 
We and have to get we uh, some of the sap from, from the parent the tree. But even if you could get to the Eldrigleen, and we, we can't get that it. without a special weapon, you want head, which we need to get. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. And I've heard about the weapon. They blah, it's, blah, called blah. Nettlebane. it's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me. And we'll go Your get it for is strong. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping through it's this, but I want to get through this. Nest called Orphan Rock. Those Hag Ravens are pain in the freaking ass too. To be honest with you, they're tough. Um, okay, so we need to get that. That's an actual side side quest. Um, I'm gonna try to do as many of those side quests as I can. The miscellaneous quests I'm gonna kind of do as I go, you know. But the side quests are actually I want to get. It. So blessings of nature is the one that we just got. It's a temple quest actually, and the missing in action is the one that old lady told us about. She wants to talk. Her son's missing, so we'll probably end up doing that. And talk to her in a minute here. Okay, so what else do I want to do here? While I'm here, um, I trained in one hand. I'd like to get some more one hand training done before I level all the way, but we'll see. Um, there is a. Yeah, this is where we gotta go talk to the lady. This video might be a little longer because I want to try to get through a lot of this white run stuff in this video. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning so this guy comes out to want to hit us with a big axe. Averstein, put that down. He's here Chill to out, help dude. us find Thorold. How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here. I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, mother. I trust you're not planning so, any trouble. So, you're here to help? What can I do for you, friend? I know that Thorald's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns, they know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's got to be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself, so I need your help. Okay, ask what kind of proof Anything he needs. That confirms that Thorald isn't dead. Basically, he wants us to go to the Battleborn's house. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Best if you didn't mention to right. anyone that you saw me here. No problem, buddy. All right, so we need to head to the Battleborn's house. And uh, it's good to just get through this little beginning part of this side quest now because the quest actually takes you far away from here. But if you get through the little intro parts of it, that's kind of then you can, um, you know, just, well, that's it. You get through the intro parts and then you don't have to worry about coming back here later. Uh, we want to get in that house. There's a skill book in there. We have to pick the lock though. Let's go in here first though and do with this side quest. Go around the back, it's always open. But the guy, if the guy sees you in here, he'll ask you, he'll try to ask you uh, what you're doing here. And if you tell him you're a Battleborn, if you're on the Battleborn side, he'll let you chill. If not, he'll tell you to leave. But he's actually not in here right now, so it doesn't matter. And this Battle of Sanker Tor is a skill book, two handed. So we need to pick this door. This one's gonna be a little more of a pain in the ass. Oh, he's gonna be kidding me. Damn it. Our lock picking's gonna go up actually, even though we're. It goes up a little bit, even if you screw up. I'm screwing up a lot. Damn it, I'm trying to hurry. Come on. Really? That was that close to it? Yeah, add up's not an easy one to pick all the time. You gotta be right on there. There it is. So I lock picking one up to 25. And here's what we gotta grab the Imperial Missive. This says that 
um, they do know about what happened to his brother, and he is in Northwatch Keep. So we are going to grab that. And let's see if there's a book here. I know there's a book in this town somewhere that uh, gives us that quest. Uh, it's not in here. Alright, let's get out of here while we can. I read a Eagle Legend of Red Eagle book somewhere around here, and I'm pretty damn sure at least. I've been, uh, I know I found it pretty early in the game. Alright, so we can get in here. It's a novice lock, so this one should be a lot, a lot better for us. That lock picking one up again, so we're about to level pretty soon. I'd like to get some more money. But I don't think we're going to get enough money to train our one-handed before we level. Even though we don't actually have to level, remember. We can just wait till we train and then level. And still be able to do another five next time. Um, the, um... Let's see if there's any money in here. Uh, Ten gold helps. It's a skill book right here. It's an enchanting one. So there's another point. Enchanting is something that we actually want to eventually work on. Um, I'm gonna grab this potion. Cure disease. We're not gonna sell the potions anyway, but it's nice to have them. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm really running through this town, but I've been through this town quite a number of times already. <laughs> um, so I know where everything's... I pretty much know where everything's at. Um, what's left? I am going pretty fast. Just bear with me. Okay, I think we're good here. Um, we do need to head mad, I say. up here, and there's a small side quest that we can do. The Hall of the Dead. We are at 22 minutes, so I want to end very soon here. This guy here. I don't think there's any actual good things to books. I could be wrong, though. There we go. No, that's the Hope of Red Iron. That's not the one I want. Okay. Let's talk to this gentleman. And he'll ask us to go Tell into me, the crypt. Do you believe in mighty RK? God? I'm glad to know that because I need you. He lost his My amulet of RK. I misplaced it in the catacombs. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to conf... I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes me. Alright, so we need to head into the catacombs. There's, I think there's like three skeletons that fight down here. And there's a couple items that we want to get, though. And the skellies are like their cake in this game. Um, I don't think they actually... Ooh, that's nice to get right now. I'm going to grab all whatever I can really here to sell, to be honest with you, because I want to try to make some enough money to get that uh, that one-hand skill. Remember. So I'll grab both of those, and then the other one is Skelly, I think, is over here somewhere. That sounds like he's in here. There he is. This guy's easy too. We'll grab all this. And then this book here is a block. Level. Point or whatever. Skill book. Actually, this isn't stealing. This is taking. We could sell that book. And then we got a coin purse here. And a coin purse here. And just keep getting some money. So we can train our one hand. There is a unusual gem here which is for a quest later in the game that I've actually never started but I know it's for a quest and the amulet is in here Let's see if there's anything else money wise no the amulet's right here it's kinda hard to see actually sometimes under these flowers it's actually worth quite a bit um, 
it actually probably benefit us more to just sell it than to give it back to the guy. Um, and increase our health by 10 points. But... I'm, I'm too nice to do that, I think. The kind old man asked us to help him, so I'll just help him. I think he only gives us like 15 gold for it. Oh, thank okay. Please yeah, 15 freaking gold. gold hmm. for your troubles. The so there we go. Arcade. I don't know. We should have just kept it, I guess. Um, I think Arcade gives us a bonus to our health. Which I'm gonna... I'll take that. I, the other one gives us a bonus to our stamina, which is nice. But our stamina is higher than our health right now. So RK fortify health by 25 points for 8 hours. So I'll take that. Alright, so we got some money. Oh, I thought the game froze on me. Like, no! Don't delete my saves or nothing. Okay. So we are at 26 minutes, guys. The video's long. Is there anything left to do down here? Actually, I'll go sell and try to train up my one-handed the rest of the for the rest of this level if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to afford it still, but any little thing helps. It'll actually get me to level 11 if I do that. Um, I think probably if I train him one or two more times, that might get me to 11. That's how much money this guy's got Take left. Every trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of thing. Oh, he's got enough. So, we'll, we'll sell the uh, sword. We don't get much for this crap. Sell the shields. We'll get some decent for that. 20 each. We'll sell the book for 17. And a garnet for 33. We're back up to 439 here. Um, we can always get more of these ores. Gold ingots, we can't get a lot of them normally. I don't care. Let's make some money. 496. And uh, anything worthwhile selling here? No. I'm not going to need those. I will probably never use them anyway. 569. Ancient Nord Balaks of Cold. I want to actually disenchant that. So I will keep that. Alright. So real quick, I'm going to make my way back over to... Uh, I'm try to find Amrin. He was the guy that uh, we trained one hand with earlier, and then we're gonna end this video. I've been doing a lot of running around here, and I, you know, not doing too much. Just grabbing skill books and and uh, trying to get some levels. He was over here, wasn't he? Yeah. Now the problem is trying to find his dumbass. Oh, that's Klaus Greenman. He was there though. Looking for my husband. Uh, now where'd he go? No, I'm looking for Amran. You see him? That's not him. That's Nazim. There's Nazim. Amran, where you at, buddy? He likes to walk around and talk about being a mercenary. This is. Serial. Ah, shit. Sigurd, who's this guy? Come by oh, he works for Bellathor. Uh, Alright, I can't find him right now. Uh, I'll end the video here, and, uh, and I'll try to find him. And then uh, train my one hand up a little bit more. I'll probably get a level when I do that. 
because I don't know where this guy went. He don't leave. I mean, he's got to be around here somewhere. Maybe he's hiding from his wife because she's yelling at him. It's very possible. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Rock. That's good for you, buddy. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we'll end the video here. I apologize. A little bit more running around than I wanted to do. And we'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching.